Hello everyone and good evening. This is Matt from everythingisradioactive.com and um, I've been really, really fortunate to have some companies that have uh, sent me loaners or even given me Geiger counters to keep um, as I start exploring radiation all around us. And one of the companies that sent me a unit was SE International. Um, they sent me the Ranger which you probably by now have seen in several of my, my uh, videos. This is the Radiation Alert Ranger model. It is uh, in a heavy, rugged case, and it has a shield on the back for the sensor. It clips on like so for protecting it, and um, also came with a case. I don't know what they give to a standard, uh, what's included in a standard purchase, if there's any cables or free batteries or any of that kind of stuff. Um, mine came ready to use as soon as I took it out of the box. All I had to do was hold down the power button, you hear that beep, and there it is, doing its thing. Um, picking up background radiation right now, as we speak. So, I'm going to set it down for a minute. Um, I'm going to kind of do pros and cons of this device, and I'm going to start with the positive, the pros. Um, so for me, uh, solid construction. It has a protective rubber bumper, as I mentioned earlier, um, and the pancake sensor. Uh, cool thing about the pancake sensor um, is it does alpha as well as beta, gamma, and x-ray. A lot of the Geiger units out there only do beta, gamma, and x-ray because they the uh, Alpha requires a different sensor with a mica window on it. The uh, display is backlit. You can kind of see glowing there. Um, it's powered by two double A's and as far as battery life goes, I'm really impressed. I didn't even know it had double A batteries in it until tonight when I looked. Um, I haven't had any low battery messages or warnings. Um, I've used it extensively for a month now, and I've had it in times turned on for two to three hours at a time. So battery life is excellent. Um, it does one minute averaging, or you can do like longer counts. You can do like a 10 minute count. Um, I think it's a cool feature. It supports uh, clicks per minute, clicks per second, uh, micro rems per hour, millirems per hour, uh, and micro sieverts per hour. Um, does all that stuff. You just choose the one you want. And on Android, um, this isn't Android, but on Android, it uh, actually has Bluetooth capabilities as well. So you can connect it to your uh, Android device. So that is my list of all the things I love about it, all the pros. Um, now the cons, the part everybody likes to hear. What is wrong with this thing or what doesn't work or what isn't good? I hate to break anyone's, uh, burst anyone's bubble, but... For me, the only con I can find with it is the cost of owning one. Um, they are a higher priced Geiger counter, but you get what you pay for. It is solid. Um, I wish I didn't have to send it back. So it's probably, probably a unit that I'm going to maybe save up for and purchase one for myself. Um, so in summary, you got a solid heavy duty Geiger for those who are exploring alpha, beta, gamma, and x-ray radiation around us. Um, it could definitely be used in the field in a commercial capacity. Um, I don't do any work in that, so I can't really review it for that purpose. But it is sensitive, sensitive enough that I was able to detect radiation in, in tile. Um, tile, not, not Fiesta Ware or anything made with uranium, but just regular tile. And, and cat litter, it can, it can pick up radiation in that. So it's extremely accurate. And as I said earlier, you get what you pay for with this and then some. Well worth it. So I hope that uh, helps anybody. If anyone has any questions for me about the unit, uh, drop me a line. You can send me a message on Facebook or comment on my blog or comment on the YouTube video and I'll get back with you. So without uh, any further ado, have a good night and that's all for me.